Learning to get out of your head is one of the best skills I think that you can learn in life. To be honest with you, I believe changing the way that you breathe changes your entire life. I am an example of that. I wasn't always a person who was able to be present most of his day as he's walking around. I wasn't always a person who was in front of women and able to just hold space and be present and be there with her totally. I was never always that guy. But what life has taught me is that if you can learn how to breathe differently, if you can learn the right way to be able to be in this moment, your whole life will never be the same. When you say to yourself, I want to get out of my head, I want you to understand that that is a call to action for naturalness. Because what feels unnatural is always being here, always thinking about why am I not doing this? Why is the girl like this? Why can't this just, just why can't this just happen? Or fuck, why did this person do that? Always being in your head brings stress. And what you feel is that fuck, I can tell that my mind is making everything in my life go to shit. I can tell my mind is the only thing that if I just get out of it, I would just experience life in a more full, full way, a holistic way. And I used to feel the same thing. Before I became a person who was incredibly present to life, incredibly present to women when I'm in front of them, before I became that, I was always this person that was in his head, like anybody in life. If you look at anybody walking around, just notice people. Everybody mostly are in their head. You know why? Because we've learned to trust our mind more than we do our bodies in this present moment. We've learned to just trust all the things that pop up inside of here. We learn, we learn to identify with thoughts because everybody has told us that this way is right and this way is right and this way is right. And the fact that we've always been identifying with thoughts, we just get used to being in our mind and that's the place to be. Because this thought makes me know that I'm right. This thought makes me know that I am unhappy. So what you do is that you create all these things in your mind that just fills you, so to speak, with life. It fills you with what you need to do. What's the next thing that is the solution? What's the problem? It fills you with everything, but it never fills you with freshness. Being in my mind was a thing that I used to always be in. And I used to always wonder, okay, how can I just get out of this place up here that's causing me so much pain? Because I can feel that I'm not happy when I'm in my mind. I can feel that all I want to do is be in front of this person. All I want to do is be here with them. But all I'm thinking about is saying the next thing. All I'm thinking about is, fuck, will it, if I say the next thing, is that the right thing to say? Did I, am I, can I express myself to this person? Are, are they, am, I, am I okay to express myself to this person? I never knew the way. I never ever knew the way. And maybe you guys are feeling that too. Maybe you're feeling that, fuck, I just want to get out of my mind. I know that life affords me so much more jewels than this thing up here, but it's just so hard to get out of this because my whole life has been here. My whole life has been walking around thinking about this thing, thinking about this problem, thinking about why this is not happening, thinking about that thing in the, in the past happened like this. Why is it not now? Thinking about, fuck, I was with that girl, but then she cheated on me. Why can't I just find another woman? You're just constantly building problem after problem after problem. And that's what the great thing that the mind does. It gives you the chance to build another problem. It gives you the chance to build on the last problem. It gives you the chance to sit on the past of what did happen and why it was so shit. It gives you the chance to go into the future and be able to go, okay, what if I don't succeed at this? It gives you so many opportunities as it may seem, but it's not giving you any opportunity. And I was going through life thinking, fuck, that it's okay to be in my mind. You know what? This is natural. Everybody's in their mind. Everybody's in their mind. This is natural. When, you, when I'm walking around, I can see people that 
they're just not present to what's happening and they're on their phone or they're doing this and this is normal but there was a part of me that I always knew that being in this moment is much better just I would have these moments where I would have flow so to speak and I would think like fuck I'm just flowing with what's happening right now I'm not thinking about any problem I just feel happy and then I start to go how do I get this happy feeling more and more and I got and I got addicted to flow and I wanted to get do things that allow me to be in flow because I'm like I just want to be out of my mind so I want to do things to get me in flow dancing was one of my things that would get me in flow and I would love that because it would give me a certain happiness watching TV gives me some certain type of like not being in my mind but as I said sit back and notice those are all distractions that's what they are and I had to go at some point you know what is the way for me to be able to develop as a person I'm such a person that's an entertainer I'm such a person that's able to do this I'm such a person that loves you know these things that cause distraction what is the thing for me to develop so I can be able to live a more holistic loving enjoyable life and I started to come across in books this thing of meditation and I went oh okay this this and this and then I was watching a video by a guy I used to follow he was talking about being present to the moment and, 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 and Eckhart Tolle and I started to go okay there's there's something to this there's something to being present in the moment that's the thing I don't know what that means but what the fuck is this so I would see it, see, it, see it in books and I would see, you know, meditate for 10 minutes or meditate for 20 minutes and just focus on your breath and allow yourself to just be here and now. And if a thought comes up, just let it pass. And I did it. And I remember just sitting there in my grandma's basement, just sitting there just breathing and fucking like trying to, trying to meditate with my eyes open and I'm trying to do all this. And it was just teaching me that this is the thing that I needed. What I really needed for my next step of evolution in my life was not so much expression, was not so much trying to be the, you know, a person that can do like this and this. It was settling in myself. It was learning that until I settle in myself, until I allow myself to go at depth in myself and really be one with depth in myself, I can never ever give, get this other side of life that I'm missing. Because I must say, I was a person that was expressive. I was a person like that. I was a person who was really nice in many ways. But when it came to, when it came to being a person who can stand up for herself, a person who can figure out what his pain is, a person who wanted to understand why was he so, why was he so bitter, wanted to understand why was he manipulating women. It only happened when I shift myself to settling, which is being present. When you start to be present to life, you start to become quiet on the inside. And as you become quiet on the inside, chaos starts to arise or the pain starts to rise that you've been suppressing and now it can come to a resolution it can now come to a dissipation and it was the same thing with women how can I start to become better with women how can I allow myself to be a man that's in front of a woman that's so beautiful to me and just be so totally present to her how can I do that I used to be incredibly fucking just always trying to entertain. I was always the person who was, you know, trying to compliment, trying to get into deep conversation because that's the only thing that I was used to. I was always trying to do something that was not being quiet, settling, being still, and allowing her to be in her charm, which is to express herself to me. I couldn't do it. It was very difficult for me. But I made it, I made it, made it my fucking goal. 
that if I wanted to change my life, if I wanted to get women into my life who I know I wanted, I didn't want to entertain them. I wanted to have something with them. I wanted to share something with them. If I knew I wanted life itself to have a different flavor, a different taste, a different feeling to me, I had to learn what it meant to breathe differently. I had to learn what it meant to be present to this moment. To be totally in myself. And I started out very, very slow. I did. It was very different to me. It was the polar opposite of what I was doing. I was like this and fucking entertainer and, and I was like this and I would just love this and I used to hate people who were shy and I used to hate being around people who are quiet and serious. I'm like, oh fuck, that's, that's weird. But simultaneously, I knew that I needed the exact thing that I was going, that's weird. I knew I needed that. I would see guys like this, you know, talk about, you know, being like Bond and, you know, being like the man who's not really moving much. Now I see that like, that's just weird to me. But it's because, and also at the same time, I was feeling like, fuck, I wish I was like that. Because I knew I needed that. I knew I needed to become more still. And I don't, right now, I don't recommend anybody become like James Bond because that's just one side of being a man. That's just one side. The other side is being able to be expressive, just to let you know. But I had to learn that. I had to learn what it meant to be settled and still, quiet, moving with awareness. I had to learn this. And as I was walking through my life, it changed everything for me. My entire life changed because I started breathing differently. I started to become more aware of my breath, more aware of this moment, more aware of what's happening now, more aware of what, what, where's the tension in my body, more aware of when I'm looking at somebody, what's their facial expressions, what's the way that they're moving, what's the way that they're speaking. More aware of what's happening. More aware. When I was, when, you know, I started to notice that when I was around women, fuck, I'm able to be present to this woman. I'm able to, in this moment, feel the impulse to speak and to just allow it to pass. Because in that moment she wanted to say something else, but I was gonna cut her off because I was already ready to speak. I noticed that women were responding better to me because I was being more silent. And when there's silence, the woman feels this impulse to give more, because that's her nature. Her nature is to give more to you. Beautiful women are the ones who, can, who give the least out of any woman, if you wanna know. Out of any woman on earth, beautiful women give the least. Do you know why? Because every man that they're meeting is just talking, 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 trying to impress, trying to do this for them, trying to make sure that the girl is all right, and trying to constantly compliment her. But they never give her the chance to fill in the space. They never give her the chance to give because that's her, her pleasure is to give to you. Her pleasure is to say, but I love doing this and I like doing this, but I hate doing this. That is her pleasure. That is her charm. And I had to learn through shutting the fuck up and just being there with her and being silent and experiencing this other side of life that beautiful women actually want to express themselves, but they don't get the chance to. Because every man that they're meeting, he's just constantly going away at it. And she's like, oh fuck, another guy who's doing everything that every other guy is doing. Can I just express myself? Can I just give myself away to you? I can't do that because guess what? You're just ready to speak. You're constantly ready to tell me a compliment. You're constantly ready to fill in the space. Oh fuck, there's another guy who's doing the same thing that all the thousand other guys are doing. It wasn't until I started to learn awareness, becoming aware, being here in this moment, that all of my results started to change. I'm able to be with the woman I am with right now because I'm able to sit in the place I am right now. I'm in love with a woman right now. So, so in love, really. We share love together. We go deep together. But guess what? She is incredibly expressive, incredibly feminine, incredibly loving, incredibly deep in her heart. And I couldn't attract a woman like that when I was trying to entertain, when I was trying to just say stuff. I couldn't attract a woman like that. But it was the moment I learned to become more subtle, to become more still that started to attract a different side of a woman. When I was in front of beautiful women, I started to attract more femininity out of them, more grace, more wanting to do things, more wanting to give to me, more wanting to tell me, wow, you're just so different. Them wanting to express these things that no other guy gives them the chance to. 
And that's what I'm here to, te to teach you, is that when you learn how to express this beautifulness of just being totally aware, being here in this moment, all your results in life with women, beautiful women, and your results as far as the way you see life, how grandiose it looks, how amazing things taste, will start to shift. So, what I would say is, in an environment like this, where it's very quiet and low key, what I want you to do is that I want you to become just aware of your breath while you're this, in this environment. Just look around and just notice. Notice what's happening. Feel the sun on you. Just be aware of your breath as you're noticing. And what you'll see is everybody going about their life, maybe even noticing what you're doing, maybe glancing at you, looking away. Maybe you notice the person over here talking about this, these people over here, gossiping about this, these women over here, just looking around and just scanning the environment. Because this environment that's beautiful, <coughs> it affords you the ability to be able to be more present than if you were in a chaotic environment. That's what's so beautiful about life is that it has this balance of life and, 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 and everything moving, which is the, the city life. Then you have this other balance that's nature and things are moving more slowly and quietly. And the challenge and the thing for you to move into is to learn to be present while you're in this environment and also while you're in a chaotic environment. So when you're in an environment like this, just become aware and just Notice the green everywhere and just be here and now and with your breath. And if you see a girl you want to talk to, just look at her and don't go talk to her yet. But I just want you to observe her for a moment. Just observe. See what you like about her. See what's going on for her. Notice when she's walking through the park, just allow yourself to your eyes to just move with her and only be present to her. If you want to know one of the key ways to be able to be present while you're in any environment is to only focus on one thing at a time. In this environment, just focus on this person. And when you choose to, move to the next thing to focus on. Then move to the next thing to focus on. Because this is an environment that's easier to do that. And as you learn to do this in this environment, what you'll notice is that, fuck, I feel so at peace. And you will notice that your awareness wants to come back up and you want to start thinking and it's okay if it does that. Just bring it back down to just your breath, breathing from your stomach, which is a very different way to breathe. And just be there with your breath with your breath. And if you're gonna go talk to a woman in this environment, move very slowly up to her. You don't have to be in a rush. She's probably sitting down somewhere. Just move slowly and be aware of each step as you're moving. And when you say hello, say hello from a place of awareness. When you wave, wave with awareness. When you're looking at her, look with her Look at her with, the, with awareness, which is just totally noticing what's going on for her, but not trying to engage. And yes, your mind may start racing because I had to learn how to do this over time. But this is the foundation. The foundation is becoming aware of your breath and learning how to focus with choice. This is going to allow you to not go into overwhelm. Because if you focus on too many things at once, you will go into overwhelm. Why is this person doing this? This and this and this. You have to be able to focus on one thing at a time. This builds awareness. 
And as I'm talking to you guys, I can feel my whole body and what's happening. There's tension in my right foot because I've been standing on it for a long time. Uh, my lips was a, was a little bit dry. I can feel that I'm moving my hands right now. All this is happening while I'm talking to you guys. Moving with awareness. Allowing yourself to come from the foundation, which is all of life, which is awareness. But as you learn how to do it in this environment, and you become present to life. This environment is the real test. Because in this environment, there's so much distraction around you. What you notice is that as you're here, your mind wants to focus on so many different things. It wants to focus on this guy looking at you. It wants to focus on this woman standing here. It wants to focus on the guy playing the guitar. It just wants to focus on everything. So if you can learn in this environment to be still, to be aware, to only focus on one thing at a time, what you would notice is you're getting the best of both worlds when it comes to being aware. Because awareness is beautiful when there's barely any distraction or no distraction at all, when you're like going to the forest or something, but it's still beautiful when there's all people around because you even have more to be able to look at, to be able to notice. You have much more. So there's beauty in the all and the none as well. And as you learn to become aware in the all, which is right now where you have distraction around you, a lot of distraction, you notice that there's a different type of flavor then. Like the flavor you get when you're alone and nobody's around you, or when there's barely any people, will be very different than the flavor you'll get in this environment of awareness. Well, the awareness stays the same, but just what you notice is different. That flavor is different, what you notice. And even when you're going up to beautiful women in this type of environment, the main thing is to not try to look at her and then this person and this person and this person is to focus on her only as you move up to her. So if you notice the girl is there, what you're going to do is just put your fixation on her. Notice that she's there. Remember, I'm always talking about being obvious. It's okay if she sees you looking at her. And you go up from a place of awareness. And you can move slow through this environment. If a girl's walking, you can move slow through this environment. But of course, the main thing is that you want to be adjusting. Like if she's walking very, very fast, you can't walk slow to her or you'll never get to her. But the main thing that I'm getting you to understand is that even in a place like this, if you allow yourself to become aware of your breath, if you allow yourself to become centered in yourself, just totally aware of your breath, you just start to notice everything around you. Like you start to hear differently. Everything is more vivid. But this vividness is not there when your mind is racing, when your mind is going. When you're in your mind, vividness is not there. Only vividness of thought is only there. But vividness of this moment, being able to notice everything around you with clarity can only happen when you're with your breath and you're aware. <coughs> Remember I told you, the number one thing that changed my life is breathing differently. And as you guys learn to breathe differently in this way, life will now afford you something very different than it's ever have. Not only will you be able to be present to women in the way that they need to, give them the chance to express themselves, give them the chance to be in their charm, you will also be in your charm. Your charm is not to just constantly do like this and constantly entertain or constantly feel like you have to you say stuff. Your charm is actually being still and quiet. And the more you learn to sit in your own charm, like I've learned to, which is the other side of how to develop, the more you start to notice that women want you more, life is better, life feels better, and you can smile finally with clarity. What I want you guys to do is that I want you to go out as a practice and start to do this in environments that have no chaos, an environment like this that has a lot of chaos, which means a lot of distraction. And learn how to become aware in both. 
and watch the difference that you start to notice. I've done something very amazing for you guys. I've been able to put together a package that's very free. It's very much free. It's over two hours of just teaching you how to go from the mindsets of being able to talk to women and what women are about, all the way through to the bedroom. Everything from the pickup to, to everything all the way to the bedroom. Texting, everything. It's all free for you. Just click the description box and go straight to the website. And from there, You'll get, the, you'll get it sent to your email after you put your email in. Don't miss out on life like you probably have. It awaits you. Now live differently. i see you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home. And along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.